Today we are going to see about the lighted style at intubation. Let's get on the video. Direct laryngoscopy is the most common method of tracheal intubation in the emergency department. However, in about 1% to 3% of emergency department patients requiring intubation, where direct laryngoscopy will be very difficult or impossible. This may be due to many different causes including jaw immobility, limited cervical spine mobility, or excessive airway bleeding. In these situations, Blind intubation using a lighted stylet is a proven valuable technique. Lighted stylet shows a strong beam of light in the soft tissues of the anterior neck to indicate intratracheal endotracheal ET, tube placement. Lighted stylet intubation is a relatively easy technique to learn and rapid to perform. There are at least four currently available devices, all of which are inserted into an ET tube instead of a standard stylet. These include Trach light, light want, flexible lighted stylet, and the tube stat. Although there are slight differences in design, they all work using a lighted stylet and shows a strong light in the anterior neck and guide blind intubation of the trachea. Now we'll see the intubation video using lighted stylet. Findings from the lighted stylet The trachea lies anterior to most structures of the neck and is covered anteriorly only by skin, subcutaneous tissue, and pretracheal fascia. A light source positioned within the trachea will show a strong beam of bright and discrete glow that can easily be seen on the surface of the neck. In contrast, the esophagus lies posteriorly and is surrounded by numerous soft tissue structures. A light source directed within the esophagus will be diffused by the surrounding tissue and appears dull. So, the emergency physician can easily differentiate between the dull and bright beam of a lighted stylet. This makes the quick and effective way to intubation. Ok friends, I hope you all like this video. Subscribe this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.